Hello guys, welcome back to Zagnat. Today we're going to be trying some new Lay's products. Excellent, yeah, actually a new product and an old product, and we'll look at those here in a second. He's Zach, and he's Dad, and, and together, together we're, we're Zach and Dad. Dad. And anyway, thank you very much for coming and watching the Zach and Dads. We really do appreciate that. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and good old Lay's potato chips kind of fun. So if you like what you see here, which we hope you do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications and hit the all so you never miss a beat of what's going on here. So which one do you want to do first? Um, what we got here uh, from the grocery stores was uh, Lay's has a returning product and a brand new product out there. And I got a couple of them so that we could review them so that if you're interested, you could see what you thought too. So which one do you want to do first? The red one. The red, the, this one? No. This one? Yeah. Okay. This one is, um, you want to hold it out for our, hold it out for our family? Don't you want to hold it? No. Um, anyway, are you cold down here? Yeah. It is cold down here. Again, our studio is in the basement. And uh, so it's still not really summer yet here. So it is really chilly here. But anyway, this is Lay's uh, Kettle Cooked uh, Flaming Hot. Is it lemon or limon or limon? Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, you say what you want. I, I think it's limon. Uh, anyway, you know the Flaming Hots. They're all over the place. Um, it's kind of a brand name that is used across the board when it comes to different kind of products. Uh, you know Lay's, we've done Lay's Kettle Cook before. We'll probably put up some Kettle Cooked, uh, Kettle Cook videos up here as cards. We'll probably put our Flaming Hot series. We've done, we have a whole playlist of that. We'll have that up there as well. Anyway, this is new. Um, they've already done Kettle Cooked Flaming Hot chips, but this is Kettle Cooked Flaming Hot Limon. So this, I wonder if this is going to taste a little bit like Takis. Mm -hmm. This will be, why don't you open it? Actually, yeah. Actually, read that what it says. Um, what does that say here in the back? It says, kick things up with a new deliciously spicy and tangy Lay's Kettle Cooked Flamin' Hot Limon uh, flavored chips. Um, use the high quality ingredients we kettle cook our chips so you get more delicious crunch in very bite with fiery chili pepper flavor and twist of lime these chips pack an unforgettable punch all right um <clears throat> i don't know if you can see i'm trying i'm looking at the monitor here i don't know if you can see the chips from that it's a little dark why don't we grab one so we can show the family here they really are um as you can see they're really red uh, really, really red. Um, so the, the kettle cooked chips, but really doused in a lot of that flaming hot and limon. How does it smell? I'm really not smelling much, are you? No. No. No, I'm not smelling anything here. So anyway, let's try the Lay's kettle cooked flaming hot uh, limon uh, chips. You ready? <laughs> Chip it, dip it. Right, actually, I'm just going to take one. I don't need all three. I was kind of thinking maybe they, these would taste like, um, what are those uh, uh, Takis, what are the regular Takis called? Fuego. Fuego, yeah. Because they're kind of spicy and they have the lime in there too. No, not really. These, these don't really taste like them. They're good though. I actually really like them. What are your first impressions? Tastes like Takis. Oh, you do think they taste like Takis. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm really not getting that. Maybe the powder does a little bit, but I guess I'm thinking more of the crunch. Um, but um, but he does think they taste a little bit like Takis. And Mikey likes it. He is eating them up. Wow. You can tell when he likes something, when he, you know, when he just kind of keeps going and keeps eating them. Um, it, it, it has that, would you agree, it has that classic flaming hot kind of taste to it. Um, but then it does have that nice touch. The really reason why I wanted to get this is I love lime. So if you like lime, you're going to, actually, 
the lime isn't as pronounced as I would like to it be. What did you think about the lime? I get quite a bit. Are you? Okay. I'm not getting as much lime as, I, as, as I'd like to out of it, um, but it's there, and it's good. Um, you definitely taste that classic uh, Flaming Hot heat to it, um, and I'm a big kettle cook kind of uh, a fan, so I think I'd recommend What did you think? Since you like Takis, you probably really like these, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think these were really good. Would you recommend them? Yeah, way better than the Flaming Hot Lay's uh, regular potato chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one just kind of had its basic Flaming Hot and then it was done. This is way better. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. So, should we give this a flavor rating? I'm um, sure. Are you ready? Three, okay. two, one, seven. Eight, eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really did too. I really recommend it. I really like it. Before we go on to the next one, uh, as we always do, we have some questions for you. Give us a thumbs up if you are a Lay's fan. Um, would you try these? Um, would you try these that we are trying today? And we're going to try another one here in a little bit. Uh, would you put these on your something I'm kind of I kind of started to label as your edible playlist you know with with YouTube and with music we all have our playlists whether it be video or audio what about edible would you put this on your edible playlist would it be one of those things that you get uh, every so often and just kind of keep getting it or would it be a one time and you're done um, are you are you what is the pointing for that oh okay I thought all of a sudden you had something to say. Uh, and then what is your go-to chip flavor? What would it be for you? Uh, not really sure. It would be Takis, wouldn't it? That's not a flavor. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would be a brand name. Um, for me, <clears throat> I like cheddar. I, I like, if I see a cheddar, I like to kind of go for that. Mine's lime. Lime? Well, yeah, me. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, I really do love the lime and the chips as well. And I love the lime and the coconut. You know, I guess I can have it both, right? Um, and then, are you on team kettle cooked, or are you on team just regular, regular chips? What would you like? Just uh, the kettle. Kettle, yeah, I like kettle. I like that crisp. I like that crisp taste, that crunch when you first get it. I don't like the regular ones because they feel like they already are breaking within the bag. Here, I really feel like I have a good taste to it. So, anywho, so that was that one. Um, the next one, I guess it's not brand new, but it, it, it's come back a couple times. Um, and it's called the, I don't know if you see it from there, but it's called the Crispy Tackle. Or, yeah, Lay's Crispy Tackle. These aren't kettle cooked, they're normal. Um, they've been out, I think they come out, they go, they come out, they go, they come out, they go. I think the last time was in 19, 2019. Uh, they're out again. I hear these are great and they're excellent. Again, give us a thumbs up if you've tried these before. Let us know what you think. Um, have you ever had these before? No. Yeah, I don't think you have. So anyway, we're going to give these a quick try and see see what we think. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I think that's the first time I ever got a... I think that's the first time I ever got a text during... Um, but it's nothing important, so I'll just let it be. All right, you want to smell that? That definitely has a smell. No. Yeah. It does, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, I'm not, I think this, yeah, just, there's really not much more than except for a crispy taco flavor. Hey, let us know. Do you like crispy tacos or do you like soft tacos? Which one do you go for at Taco Bell? All right. Yeah, the one thing about these uh, Flaming Hot, no matter what kind of Flaming Hots, is you get always that, those red, the red fingers. You always get a lot of, like, you still have a lot of red fingers there too. All right, why don't we try one of these? Okay. Um, on here, it's not as pronounced like as the as the flaming hot, but there is some seasoning on there. I do smell some seasoning. If you put the chip right up to your nose, there is a little bit of a seasoning. We'll see how it tastes. Chip it, chip it, dip it. Ooh. Mmm. Oh wow. People were saying that this actually did taste like a crispy, uh, crispy tacos, and this is actually not really. Really? No. Try one and close your eyes. I think it'll take you to a land of the crispy taco. I actually can taste beef in there. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes. I'm actually getting the taco and the beef. I'm getting a taco taste in there. 
This is very good. Actually, I have, I'll admit, a lot of the different flavors, I really don't get to really taste what this is. This was incredible. No. You, so you weren't, you weren't as, uh, you weren't as, Here's okay. what they do. They, they tell, it's not a flavor. They just tell you that it's going to be a taco flavor and your mind just knows. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I kind of agree a little bit that, to tell you the truth, if this wasn't here, maybe if I just tried it, I wouldn't think of it. And then when you see this written, or when you see what it is, you kind of are, you are right. Boom. You just expose their secrets. We exposed the scam! Now nobody has to review a single Lay's chip ever again. So you're thinking that every one of these chips is exactly the same, but you put a different label on it, and your mind will go toward that. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Is that a conspiracy theory or what? Hmm. Someone do that research. Anyway, let's do, I actually do think they're really good. I'd recommend these. I actually do think they taste like crispy taco. They're really close. So why don't we grade this and um, and then I'll have you choose which one you like better. So anyway, okay. let's go. Three, Three two, two, one, one nine. Uh, six. Okay, all right. Now are you rating it as six because it wasn't that good or are you rating it as six because it wasn't really much like crispy taco? Lack of flavor. Oh, you didn't think it had that much flavor? Oh, I thought I had some great flavor to it. Nice seasoning, great flavor. I definitely would recommend it. So for you, out of both of these, which one would you pick? Um, this one. Are you serious? No, but if oh. you knew what I was gonna pick, <laughs> yeah. why did you ask me? <laughs> that is true. So for you, you would pick this. Mm -hmm. You kept eating this. For me, I'd pick this one. I do love lime and I do really like it, but you know what? For as close as this was, and I really like crispy tacos, I think this was really good, so. Anyway, um, so if we were doing this as a versus, I guess we'd be tied again. So you make the decision. Now, actually, help us out. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather have the kettle cooked flaming hot limon or the Lay's crispy taco? You be the tiebreaker. So anyway, um, there are probably some awesome people out there that are like, you know what? I love what's going on here. I love the father and son thing. I love the food reviews. I love the fun here. How can I be part of what's going on here? You guys may like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you guys get notified about the video. Excellent. We're very close to hitting a thousand. And what do we do at a thousand? We send iPads away. No, we are not. No, no. You scare me every time we do that. We're not sending anything out. We're not sending iPads out. I'm going to make the live stream name free. iPads, click now. No. Kevin Cousins, if you're listening, who is one of ourselves, no, we're not giving anything out. We're no. We don't have any money to give anything out. So do not think that. We will be going live, though. So you get to know more about us, and we get to meet you, too, and we can't wait to do that. So we're really excited about that. Also, uh, don't forget uh, to like us on those Facebooks. We really would appreciate that. We do know there's a thousand other food review channels on YouTube just like us, but we do thank you for spending a little bit of your YouTube experience with a father and son that love to do what we love to do, and we hope it shows. So anyway, we love you guys. Thanks for being a part of this, and as we always end, we'll see you on the Flippy Hot Guys here about the next video. I have no clue really what he said, but you know what? We will see you soon, so God bless. Take care.